folks welcome back to my channel investment pro today we are discussing palantir stock my personal opinions of this stock based on my own investing experience price targets and the contracts with u.s federal government and global contracts from 2020 before we start just a standard disclaimer i'm not a cpa legal or financial advisor this channel is for entertainment and education purpose only you should do your own research before investing in stocks or trading I'm not responsible for your profits or loss since this channel is for entertainment and education purpose only. Okay, before we discuss the Palantir stock, you will have to understand the Palantir products. Palantir build data fusion platform for integrating, managing and securing any kind of data at a massive scale. On top of these platforms, we have layer applications for fully interactive human driven machine assisted analysis. Palantir has three main products. Palantir Gotham, integrate, manage, secure, and analyze all of your enterprise data. Palantir Foundry, amplify and extend the power of data integration. Palantir Apollo, Palantir SaaS in places no SaaS has gone before. Let us discuss Palantir press releases and contracts from 2020 and also the contracts that are not on this list but recently signed and are in the news. NCAT's award Palantir Technology 36 million contract to support its secure scientific platforms environment a 36 million one year indefinite delivery indefinite quantity contract with NCAT's for enterprise data integration and data management to support NCAT's secure scientific platforms environment. Palantir Foundry software will be provided in various configurations to NCATS, which supports several critical health missions through the integration, management, security, and analysis of any kind of scientific data and provides controlled access to internal and external collaborators. Several national institutes of health efforts, including cancer research, COVID-19 research, and the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief will benefit from the NCAT's secure scientific platforms environment. During the same time, U.S. Army Research Lab selects Palantir technologies for 91 million artificial intelligence and machine learning development. Palantir obtained a 91.2 million two-year contract from U.S. Army Research Laboratory for research and development of AI and machine learning capabilities. So Palantir's Foundry and Gotham products will be used by U.S. Army f under this contract. Palantir software platforms will be used to integrate and manage all relevant data, prepare the data in uniform and open formats, and curate data to train AI models. Palantir was selected among the 9999 bits the Army Resource Laboratory received. Palantir software platform alongside the domain expertise of government research researchers, Palantir's partnering technology vendors and those on the front line will work to provide United States Armed Forces with most advanced AI capabilities available. So this is another big contract for Palantir. Back in July 2020, Palantir also had a huge contract with Tokyo-based Yamato Holdings who are looking to accelerate the digital transformation of the logistics industry by transforming Yamato's internal operations. Yamato will deploy Palantir's foundry to spreadhead the connectivity of their operations and the entire industry. They recognize the power of Palantir technology. Yamato intends to deploy Palantir Foundry internally to transform its operations, propel its own success, and lead the broader transformation of Japan's uh, logistics industry. This is a huge statement from uh, Yamato Holdings. Yamato uh, will aim to transform its forecasting workflows into highly data-driven operations that take internal and external data into account. By integrating its operations, operational data into Palantir Foundry, including the real-time parcel trucking data, Yamato also aims to optimize the resource allocation, streamline the supply chain, and improve service level levels for customers so this is a huge contract uh, you know at the global level with the uh, yamato holdings for palantir there was another contract announced at the same time that uh, 
Sompo Holdings will be using Palantir Foundry software for real data platform for security, health, and well-being. So this is another huge contract with the you know globally uh, Japan-based uh, uh, Sompo Holdings. Additionally, this company also announced its decision to invest 500 million dollars into Palantir technology. So this is another huge contract for Palantir at the global level. Back in March 2020, Palantir announced that they have been awarded a contract to support full-on production work under the U.S. Navy's Noble System. Under this contract, Palantir will deliver its commercial software to serve as a Noble's integrated data environment, providing an open architecture for data ingestion, integration, and management, and analytics capabilities to service the Naval's uh, supply and operational maintenance communities both at shore paid sites and on platform deployed at sea so this is a huge contract with uh, US Navy last month Palantir announced that they are working on a software for a new system that could help federal health officials track their production administration and distribution of COVID-19 vaccines that was reported by the Wall Street Journal uh, you know uh, back in October uh, this year uh, Palantir is working on Tiberius uh, system that would collect the data from federal agencies local and state governments pharmaceutical firms and distributors and enable health officials to integrate a wide range of demographic employment and public health data sets to identify the location of priority populations and make decisions when it comes to allocating vaccine doses according to the documents obtained by the publication so this is the article reported by the wall street journal so it's really it's really big news for palantir then this software that they are developing will not only be used by u.s government but will also be used at a global level by different countries you know or different federal governments across the world so this is a huge tool, you know, and a huge tool that they are they are building up, and hopefully this tool will be released soon and will be used by the U.S. government to distribute the vaccines. Palantir also had two defense contracts in September and October. On September 29th, uh, Palantir announced that they have been awarded a 9.1 million uh, firm fixed price contract for general research and development support of the Army Research Laboratory. So this is a, another big contract. There's another contract that was announced on October 2nd, uh, you know, that uh, they have been awarded uh, a nine. 9 million firm fixed price contract for Palantir GoTime platform for COVID-19 response at Los Angeles Air Force Base, California. So this is a huge contract, another huge defense contract. There was another interesting contract that was announced in April uh, this year that uh, Palantir inked its first contract with Space Force to deliver data integration tools to help track object in the space so this is a huge contract it was a one year 10 million contract palantir will prototype a data backbone for building a common operating picture of space according to the company so palantir the, the space force will use the company's foundry suite to better understand what is ob orbiting the earth be it satellites space derbies and incoming hostile projectiles so this is a huge area where Palantir is helping you know um, so this is a huge contract Palantir Technologies UK also announced that they are working with a UK NHS uh, you know health uh, agencies to help UK government in integrating and providing a front-end data platform so UK NHS will be using Palantir foundry uh, product from Palantir to you know build this front-end data platform so this is a huge contract uh, with Palantir Palantir also announced that they have been awarded a contract worth more than 20 million to monitor UK borders so this is a huge contract the contract states that Palantir will provide a suite of tools for visualization of data and analysis and the creation of action recommendation workflows based on a data assets of close to real-time data related uh, to the volume of 
consignments crossing the UK border. So this is a huge contract for Palantir. Uh, during last month, we also heard from ARK Investment that they have also invested into Palantir. You know, they bought around 24,700 shares worth 250 dollar so you know it's a big firm who are heavily invested in growth uh, stocks for example tesla and others so this is a very positive news for uh, palantir itself okay guys i think i have discussed the, the contract details and i hope the information was helpful the same information can be found on palantir's official website and or the internet so let's discuss about the palantir uh, stock price so palantir stock is currently trading at 10 dollars and 13 cents so with the given uh, amount of contracts they have and how they're working with federal governments uh, locally and across uh, you know the, and uh, globally uh, i do think uh, is a, is a good to have an and, and investment in this stock this is not a financial advice and you should do your own research before investing in palantir or in any other stock right so you are responsible for your own investment profits and loss so to me i mean the, there's a huge potential in this stock i'm invested in this stock i want to be transparent to my viewers and i want to disclose that i'm invested in this stock for a long for the long term investment and i do see that this stock will grow and i do see this uh, this stock as a growth stock so let's see let's see how this talk plays out uh, palantir also announced that uh, you know on november 12th they will have their uh, you know third quarter uh, earnings release so that would be interesting to see uh, you know i'm hoping there are going to be some positive news out of that uh, uh, call um, you know that the, the quarter quarterly results so let's see how, how this plays out so guys uh, thank you for watching and thank you for your time you know i do appreciate you you coming by and watching my videos so uh, please uh, if you want to support my channel please like this video share and comment and subscribe to my channel Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.